Meghan Markle and Prince Harry touch down in Morocco for last royal tour before welcoming baby. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have landed in Morocco for one last royal tour before they become first-time parents. The royal couple arrived in Casablanca on Saturday, where they were greeted by the British ambassador to Morocco, Thomas Riley, and his wife, Alex. The tour will also see them travel to the Atlas Mountains and the capital, Rabat. Meghan wore a red Valentino dress with an elegant embroidered cape detail. She styled her hair in a polished updo and carried a nude clutch, gloves and heels. Harry and Meghan have traveled overseas to the North African country for a three-day visit at the request of Queen Elizabeth and on behalf of the UK government. The tour comes just days after Meghan celebrated her baby shower with friends in New York City. Harry also had a busy week, surprising a group of London school kids during their spring half-term holiday and joining Royal Marines at their base in Bickley. It was recently revealed that they will be staying on privately for an extra night at the end of the visit, returning on Tuesday to London, instead of on Monday afternoon. Medical provisions have been made for Meghan, who is in her third trimester, a royal source says. The couple will be joined on their tour by a nine-strong entourage, including two assistant private secretaries, three communications officers, a digital officer, a logistics officer and a program coordinator. As with other tours and visits, there will also be a hairdresser. Harry and Meghan will be staying privately at a royal residence as guests of King Mohammed VI. They will kick off a busy day of engagements on Sunday, with a visit to a boarding house for girls that ensures that girls from rural areas have access to education. They will then attend a reception hosted by the British ambassador to Morocco later that evening. They will be shown firsthand the transformational impact of community-based programs and Morocco's changing attitudes towards women. He told reporters a few hours before the visit begun, Riley said ahead of the tour. Their tour will officially end on Monday with a series of visits centered around issues close to their hearts, women's empowerment, girls' education, inclusivity and encouragement of social entrepreneurship. I hope they will find it useful, illuminating and educational. Morocco has so much to offer commercially culturally and politically, Riley added. This visit is a very important opportunity to promote the strong relationship that already exists between the British and Moroccan people. Education is one of Meghan's main causes. She was recently named as patron for the Association of Commonwealth Universities. In December, she spoke with a group of students and leaders at King's College London as part of the ACU to discuss the importance and impact of higher education. She also got personal about her own college experience during a speech from her royal tour in Fiji back in October. Meghan and Harry are eagerly expecting the arrival of their first child in late April. During an outing earlier this month, Harry was heard telling one invitee. There's a heavy baby in there. Meanwhile, Meghan kept a hand close to her baby bump and said about her husband, he's going to be the best dad.